Yes, my name's uh, Jay Hansen. Uh, I'm the founder and head coach at Team Hansen. Um, so this is just a little bit of background about me and how I got started in uh, martial arts and fitness. Um, so I've been doing it now for 15 years. I was in um, Newsom High School um, and I had the opportunity through my mentor, Dr. Lance Lewis, to start martial art training in year nine. And I took the opportunity and I never looked back. Um, so with my training with Lance, um, it was life changing. Um, it put me on a positive path, um, as well as you know many other young people that he worked with. He was the world and European and British champion at kickboxing. He was an um, inspirational guy for me, you know, at that at that moment in time and um, the years leading up to that time. Um, we was you know we was on the streets. We, you know we were street kids. Um, we was in a good home, but you know it is what it is. So when Lance was working with me in school. You know, he went deep and, um, you know, he changed my life and he gave me that opportunity to start uh, martial arts. And, you know, now I'm giving that opportunity to young people as well. Uh, at the minute, we've got 200 members in the gym. So, you know, our aim and all of our structures, we're aiming to change lives every day. Uh, me and, you know, some of my friends, we, we was going on the wrong path. And Dr. Lance Lewis, he, you know, give, give us that opportunity to start martial arts at that point. Um, and, he, and he put me on the right path. So, you know, um, Lance Lewis, he was, he was a deep guy. He was an um, ex-world champion. He was the first British boxer to be allowed at the Kronk Boxing Gym in Detroit. Um, and he had many, many accomplishments that, you know, was, was inspiring for me. So after that, he took me to uh, train with Nico Joker, who's also one of my inspirations, and Bob Sykes, they was my coaches, you know, Huddersfield martial art legends. And, and from that point, I just loved martial arts as a, as a, as a teenager. Uh, and growing up, I was, I was fighting, I was competing, and uh, I loved it. When I was studying at university, I came up with the idea of coming back to my community and starting Team Manson Martial Arts. Um, and it just started with one class on a, on a Saturday. I was just doing one kickboxing class for young people on a Saturday. Um, and, and, and that's what it started from. And th now this is our 10th year anniversary this January. Um, and, and it's gone fast. We've now got 200 members in the gym. Uh, and me and all the other instructors are motivated to change, you know, even one person's life. Uh, Lance Lewis came into my life and now I'm affecting other people's lives. So even if one of my students can go on to do that, then the generations will keep going. Team Hansen is a great opportunity for the kids. They come into the gym, they have a chance to train with the top coaches, make friends. They become champions in the gym, but then also they become champions away from the gym. Yeah, I'm the boxing coach here and um, I cover the classes and um, mostly on the weekends with the little ones that I coach. So my background is um, boxing. I was an amateur boxer for, I fought for seven years. Um, I had 21 fights, um, won Yorkshire titles, went into championships. Um, was part of the year's course at Bradford um, Academy, um, which I completed with the, some of the best boxing coaches around the country to, in that academy. Um, I boxed at numerous clubs around Yorkshire and now I'm a level two England boxing coach. I'm currently working for CNK Careers where we work with young people aged 15 to 16 to get them into employment. Um, and from that, we look for volunteer opportunities and that's what Team Hansen give. So I can come to Jay, speak to um, Jay around certain students I work with and he's open to give volunteering opportunities to these young people. Hi, my name is Nina and I'm the female instructor at Team Hansen. Um, I love Team Hansen because of the community feel that it has here, the, the team, and I love that everything that they do for the community, bringing people together, trying to involve more women into the sport. Um, and that was one of the reasons I joined as well. And everybody, everybody here is really nice and upbuilding. Um, and yeah, love, love coming to train here. So we got funding from Kirklees Council for a, few, for a women's uh, martial arts project to try and involve more women from the community to take part in the sport. So we started ladies only classes for women that were not comfortable coming into the space and train with men. So it was just female only. Um, so Jay offered me the role to be the female instructor in that. And that's been great to be part of that and seeing the women progress and just gain more confidence through the sport. And it's been great to be part of that. It's a really good club. Uh, it's like a family. So we all train together, help each other to become better. So we're really close. 
it's just a great team. Uh, I joined to build resilience because just the, the modern way of life is just too soft, uh, makes you, uh, doesn't give you tools to deal with life difficulties. Here is, you learn how to be strong, how to face challenges, and uh, it's a hard day of sparring, you come back home and you feel stronger. I think Team Hansen is a very physical and very good club to go to if you want to learn like self-defense and like build some muscle. Yeah, it's a very good club to go to. I've been here for like one and a half years, maybe two years, I think. I think Inter Club is a good place to like challenge yourself, like if you're new to like go to fight different clubs. And I've got a fight on 25th of February, so I'm training for that. I think it's been really positive. Uh, two of my granddaughters go here uh, for fitness and self-defence and they've got an awful lot out of it. And Jay is absolutely brilliant with them. I think it's good because it teaches you self-defence and if you get a fight outside, you know how to defend yourself. I think Team Manson is a really like good place to come if you want to defend yourself and if you want to like just work out and stuff. Uh, team, I, I like going to Team Hansen because it helps me learn self-defense and it helps me exercise a lot with my family and friends. I'm here at Team Hansen so I don't fight at school or at home and I can learn self-defense. I really like Team Hansen because you always learn new things and every day when you come here you just train new things and always protect yourself if one day anything happens for you. Because I want to I wanna learn something new and protect myself and protect my family when I grow up. Uh, today, this Saturday, we've come to Dare to Wear. We've got 32 young people from all over Kirklees. Um, some of them are members at Team Hansen, um, others are not. Um, some people have brought their friends, some have brought their cousins and our aim here today is to build a better community cohesion in Kirkalees. So this project here hasn't been funded um, by the council. Um, we've given a small charge to parents um, you know, and we've had certain members of the community saying that if people can't afford today and certain trips then they will fund it themselves. So this is just a small part of what we do at Team Hansen, trying to empower the youth through sports and youth work. Hi, my name's Bobby. I'm the designated safeguarding officer here at Team Hansen. I've been working with them for a couple of years now. We obviously try to provide the best possible safe environment for all of our students to ensure that they're safe, that the parents feel assured that the students are also safe. We always try and go above and beyond to ensure that we can provide the best, best possible opportunities. We go beyond Team Hansen. We obviously provide today, like events like today, where we do uh, what it's a youth trip to day to air. Again, this is something like a community activity, keeping our children active throughout the holidays and just ensuring that they feel valued and obviously providing them extracurricular and enrichment activities away from the gym. I'm a pastoral lead. I've worked in education for seven years. Um, I've worked closely with Jay and a number of students that have been dysregulated, that have struggled in the school environment. So what I, tend to do, what I tend to do then is build that link with Jay and through martial arts, you know, create a structured timetable for that student, which then goes on to them, you know, hopefully getting qualifications and moving forward in their life. Team Hansen itself has been amazing for my own children. I got involved with my own child who suffers, you know, with, um, suffers with anxiety. The, the first few sessions at Team Hansen were amazing. Uh, the, all the coaches were very welcoming and provided that safe, secure environment. He's now eight years old and is flourishing. His confidence has grown and I can just see him in himself. Where, For example, just coming to this event, he's happy, he's running about and playing with his peers. We always try to have an ethos that we want the students to become the best they can be, not just within the martial arts system, as we say, but also within the community projects that we are doing. Um, and we also try and relate that to the education, hence I, I get involved. We're currently doing a healthy eating project, which is obviously related to providing healthier lifestyles whilst the students are at home and, and providing the parents with the tools to ensure that our children are healthy and fit. Like they say, a healthy mind, obviously, will, will, will lead them to a healthy body, etc. Um, again, they've been amazing. We try our best to ensure 
that every single student is looked after, regardless of ethnic origin and sexual orientation. Uh, we will always try and think outside of the box. I'm always here open for questions if, if parents do need that. But again, student safety is, is my niche and is paramount to what we stand for at Team Hansen. A big part of what we do here at Team Hansen uh, is not just your martial arts, kickboxing and competing. You know, we've got a bigger aim um, for the community to empower people through youth work. Um, that's why we, you know, we give the young people and, and families as well uh, many opportunities to come to our events, um, our, our projects. Um, so for example, this year we've got many projects taking place. So this year we've got 10, 15 projects lined up. Um, some, of, some of which is funded by us ourselves, some of which is funded by the council, um, some of which is funded by um, third sector leaders, some is funded by um, you know, the inclusive fund. Um, so we have different funders, different people that help us out. We've got um, relationships with local businesses that also help us out. So big shout out to Smart Properties, um, to Gotins and all the other you know, businesses that help us out on a daily basis. So some of, some of the projects that we do here at Team Hansen include you know, our annual trips to places like um, Dare to Air, Tag X, Bowling, um, The Zone. Um, we have many trips that we do, some of which are um, our annual fun day. We've got an annual um, charity football event, which we uh, fundraise for Forget Me Not Hospice. Um, and the, you know, the last time we did it, we had like a hundred young people all um, fundraising for the children's hospice in Kirklees, which, which was great. Next month, which you should also see in this documentary, is our community iftars for the Muslims in Hadisfield that celebrate Ramadan. Um, you know, last year as well, we had about a hundred people participating through the month in our um, event where we give out free food. Um, people can come and watch the Islamic prayers, um, and we have many people from different ethnicities that come and join in on these events as well. So another few of our events that we do, we do an annual barbecue here at the gym where members can invite their family and friends down. Um, you know, it's a pound of burger, and you know as well the, the donations go to UK-based charities. Um, another charity we work with is Global Relief Trust. We've raised over £30,000 for them. So that's who we usually do our um, annual barbecue for. Uh, we've also got our Laser Zone trip. Um, you know, 30 young people come there every time. That's an annual trip for us. And uh, we do the boys sleep over here in the gym. We had about 15 young people here last year. We're going to run that as well in July. So we want to aim to Help, help young people with whatever problems they face through youth work and martial arts. Uh, we see a lot of people um, come in with anxiety, depression, um, drug abuse. Um, we've got a student who's recently joined who's um, deprived from sleep. You know, all these problems we aim to f um, tackle through martial arts um, and that's some of the great work that we're doing.